I'm a big fan of Christian Leblanc. It's years that I'm following his work, and it's even thanks to him that I did my first travel in Philippines, and I even met my girlfriend because we met in Philippines. And since that, I follow his work, and it's a really ta talented videographer and photograph. He has a YouTube channel with a lot of followers, and he creates inspiring videos about travel. And since two or three years, he created the Lost Creator Academy, which is a course where you can level up your skills as a videographer and photograph. And he helped me a lot to find my first destination to travel. So now today, I want to help him. I want to help him to improve his Lost Creator page. So now let's go to his page and see what we can improve. Let's try to see what can be better. For example, uh, in terms of the first impression that I have is in terms of hierarchy. The, um, it's I mean it's interesting because the first thing you see is the video but there is a lack of, uh, of strength uh, of um, the identity is not strong you can see the H1 it's the placement is where because you are from anywhere with alone and you have this long line so in terms of aesthetic it's not super um, it's not uh, it's not the best let's say and also the fact that to have a, a capital in every word, it's, it's also in terms of if, if visually, it's not, it's not the best uh, to read. So I think there is some stuff to work here, also in the size of the logo, which is super, super important. I mean, now I'm in, the, I'm in my large screen, but the size of the logo it's it's also super important and the, the CTA even if the CTA are interesting I think there is a the, the, first they don't respect the contrast uh, colors which is super important and also the fact to have this um, uh, huge padding on the width of every button make them super long for nothing so I think it can be something can be improved here. The video looks great. Hello guys, my name is Christian. Let, let me get the song. The video is great and it's something that we is the is the key because Christian is a is a is a, is someone who is making videos. So this is the core of his business and he is good at doing video. And this video who present the the course, it's I mean it's really good. So this is something really important to keep. Um, after you can see here like some wave that it's not enough strong for be for work and it's like it's too shy it's like you 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 don't know why they are here what they mean if there is a meaning if they bring an identity that it's it's pretty shy and I think it's the it's what happened in the whole website. Everything is shy. It, it miss there is a lack of uh, identity and, and strength. This is super important. Even the testimonial testimonial are super. I mean, to read the fact to have a big paragraph like that center, it's not the best. And um, and yeah, the, the, the testimonial can be can be improved too because it's something important because it bring. You bring value and reinsurance about the course that I think they are not uh, display like they, they should be. So yeah, we always have this wave where it's really shy and also bring uh, something um, that does, doesn't look like a um, high end, you know. Um, I know it's a landing page, the goal is to convert, but we also can convert emotionally plus the fact to display the element at the right side, at the right place. So this after another slider. I'm not a big fan, honestly, on the website of so many sliders because I'm I'm for people who just need to scroll and maybe some do some actions. But okay, this is this is not a, a critic. It's a, just a, a personal point of view. <laughs> and after here yeah the fact to always have paragraph center everything center for me it's look uh, a little bit I mean can be better and also these icons miss of uh, there is a miss of identity and here I mean it can be interesting because the picture are interesting but the fact to have to display the text to uh, to justify right 
it's 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 a little bit weird but can work in some some time but here like you have a uh, everything is sent there but you understand the process like model one model two but maybe there is a better way to display that we will work on that and after faq i mean this is a typical things but this is pretty when the animation here is pretty uh, ugly honestly <laughs> can be better let's say and also i don't think that the um, black typography i mean green black typography on this green it's also uh, um, contrast friendly for blind colors and and people who have difficulty to to read and after yeah the form that is super long i mean maybe because i'm on a big screen but it's yeah it's it, there is a lack of of something if i need to do a resume of this website i think yeah, there is a lack of identity everything is pretty shy and the the symbol for me is this h1 with like mm, it's not working the fact to, to have capital everywhere to be super large and to have the from anywhere everywhere and the colors the colors are pretty shy too and if, uh, christian is a it's a videographer and a photograph and yeah i think you have a lot of assets and i think for people who come in this page they don't feel like uh, they don't see all the talent that have christian and this for me is uh, the most important because people are buying this course because of Christian and because his skills and he's gonna transmit his skills to, to the community. So this is for me super important. Now before jump to the design phase, let's see and analyze what's the goal of this website. Because it's super important to design a website knowing the goals of course. So the goals here is, so the goal here it's first to convert. People come in the page, they they read the page and they think it's a perfect fit for them to improve their skills as a photograph or a videographer. What people are looking for when they check a page for a course, you come for the credibility of the teacher. In this case, it's Los Leblanc and it's thousands of videos on YouTube. And what you need to feel is that this guy is gonna bring you to the next level. So we need to show his work, what he's doing, even if people know him, you need to improve this that we don't feel for the moment on the website. Also, what is super important is the architecture of the website. We need to show everything that you already did on this page, like testimonials, the modules, all the steps, what you're going to learn, what you're going to bring you. This is super important. And this Christian almost already did everything on this page. We just need to display in a better, in a better way that when you pay for something, you need to know that it's going to be a good investment and it's not going to that you're not going to be disappointed. This is the, the this is the worst when you when you are disappointed by something that you buy. So you need to be to know everything and that you you don't have any doubt buying this course. And this is what we're going to do in this page. The goal also is to bring an identity to Los Leblanc, to the brand Los Leblanc, because there is different pages we don't have the same identity and i think the most important is to create a universe about him about the passion about traveling about photography the video and everything and to to really feel this and to give him to, to the brand a mature uh, a mature image which is super important also to when people arrive on the page they feel okay this is something, it's a feeling, you know, when you do a, in one page that is not well done, you have the feeling that is made by an amateur, you know, and this don't bring you a good feeling for buy a course. So this is super important. So that's why I'm talking about emotional conversion also, not just focus on metrics and where we place the city. This is super important. All right. So the first thing to do before jump into the design phase, it's to do some mood boards. I always like to to sneak around and to check some websites or some photography or some even books or anything yeah, or branding advertising campaign and just to to see to see other things this is super important and for this i'm using savy savy it's a tool where you can save um it's like 
uh, like a Pinterest, where you can save uh, images to create boards. And, and this is super interesting when you do a mood board because you have a visual uh, mood board of everything. So what I like to do is to jump into, into my mood board that every day I'm saving stuff and I'm checking. I like to just check and see if there is something that can help me. For example, when you, in terms of colors or in terms of layout or in terms of everything, you know, this is, for example, this is can be when you see, because here we are playing with greens and it's like, I like to just save some stuff or in terms of typography, see some, just, just jump around, just have a look in my savey. What I, what I generally like to do is to know that I'm gonna work in the project in the next three weeks. I mean, in three weeks, because like that, in three weeks, I, um, it gives me the time to save and uh, when I'm going on internet and I'm checking stuff, like to keep and to create a board uh, of things that I'm gonna save for the project. So you can do some research and for example, you can, if you travel, if you do, right travel you can check if there is stuff sometimes it's not accurate sometimes yes something can have uh, interesting things but generally i'm based on what i'm saving because it's already a, i already have a selection i don't need to sneak around between things that i don't like we can also check some layout some interesting layout but just some, I just like to, to see some stuff about typography, colors, and I don't want Nita to be too much inspired. This is super important. You need to let your, 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 your own, you, what you're going to say, what you want to, to say, the story you want to bring and not be influenced by other layout. First, you need to think to what's the, what's going to be the story. So before that, and that's why the mood board is cool to check now and after the zoning. So we're going to jump into the zoning phase and we're going to come back to, to, to do some mood boards. So now that we see some stuff and that at our mind, it's already in process to, to think about creative stuff, we can jump in something uh, less, I mean, it's not less creative, but for me, it's less funny, of course, than design. It's to uh, create the... Um, the zoning. The zoning for me is just a quick step. I prefer to um, zoning wireframe. I prefer to place quickly the stuff and after to jump into the, the UI phase where we bring the identity, where we do we try some layout and everything. And that to spend so much time on this because first client don't like to just see gray, uh, gray square and, uh, and fake text because they have a difficulty to project and see how it's gonna it's gonna be later so i like that it'd be a, a short phase where i know okay where i'm gonna place the stuff this is a, this is a good way to also analyze and to see if we need to display the things in a in a different order but i think in terms of hier hierarchy uh, we are good because here we have the hero with the main title, uh, the video. And this is, I think, a right choice. Hero title plus video. I think it's the most important to have a, a title will tell you where you are and the video will gonna explain you everything. So in this, we are good. Second is Testimonial. We jump directly to testimonials. For me, the I don't know if the testimonials are placed in they are too high in the page. I think maybe we should say what's the Lost Creator Academy, and after say what is the Lost Creator Academy, because maybe not everybody is watching the video. So me, I will place first what is the Lost Creator Academy, and after you have testimonials, and after the modules. And after, talk about the community because for me the community is not the most the, the is not the most important uh, in this. For me, is to 
first, okay, what I'm gonna have in this course, what I'm gonna learn, what's the module, and the plus is, okay, so cool, we have a community, we're gonna, I'm gonna connect with people, and this is super important. And at the end, the FAQ, we're gonna answer to some question that uh, maybe uh, didn't answer in the page. Plus the final block to convert, um, and this is perfect. And that's it. Yeah, we have here a type. We have like a presentation here. Need to be a short presentation of what we're gonna discover after what there is inside. And once I know where it is inside, okay, I have some testimonial will give me a reinsurance about the content and what people learn. After I go deep, I go deeply in what there is inside. After we talk about the community and what it's gonna bring you to also be connect, connected with people. A FAQ we're gonna answer to some question that I didn't um, that I didn't find on the page, and of course at the end the captation, the section where you're gonna convert people. So that's it. This is a quick zoning. I mean, of course, we are on, the video need to be short, so I'm not spending a lot of time on this. I'm not going more deep inside the, the zoning, but this is a brief zoning of how we're gonna display the page. So that's it for today. I'm gonna record a second episode and final. This is, will be just a series of two episodes. The second and the final episode will be next week and we will see the final results of this page. So keep in touch, subscribe and share the video if you like, if you like it. And see you next week. Bye.